Have you ever heard of Taylor Swift? Now, I feel kind of silly asking that question because most people have heard about Taylor Swift. Whether you're older than I am, whether you are my age, or whether you're much younger, you've heard of Taylor Swift because she is the uh, the face of music right now. Anytime she releases an album or a song, it's the most popular, most streamed song out there. She's wildly popular. She's written songs that are amazing, and they're raw, and they're real, and they're great. Uh, and someone like me, who can relate to them, and someone who's much younger can relate to them as well, and even older people as well. They're, they're real songs. Well, let me ask you this question. Do you know Olivia Rodrigo? Now, she is wildly popular right now. She's an up-and-coming musician, but she's also an actress as well. She plays on a Disney Plus series called uh, High School Musical, the musical, the series about the musical. It's a weird show, but it's it's uh, she's on it, and it's wildly popular, and she's just released her first album, and it is so popular right now. It's called Sour, uh, and it's got so many stream songs out there that people are listening to it nonstop. My kids are listening to it nonstop. She has that song Driver's License, which was the, the hit that started it all, and she's had a few other releases since then, and one of them is called Good For You. Now, when I say good for you, or when you say good for you, you usually probably mean it like, good for you, good job, I'm proud of you, I'm happy for you. Well, this song, uh, Good For You, is not one of those happy, joyful songs. It's actually a, a very spiteful song in which she's upset. She had just gotten uh, done with a breakup, uh, and it's just a really raw and emotional song about how I'm not happy for you. Good for you. It's kind of a spiteful song, like, good for you, your life is better without me. I don't like that. And so um, it's a really catchy song and a lot of the kids like it. And I've actually found myself listening to it as well because it's something that I can relate to. And I think it's actually something a lot of us can relate to. And by the way, who am I that can relate to this? I'm Tom Pounder. I'm the online campus pastor here at New Life Christian Church. And I want to talk to us about spitefulness, especially in regards to how we end relationships. You know, again, relationships come and go. We know that. Uh, you're going to have dating relationships that, that happen and then they end abruptly or they just end over time. You're going to have friendships that unfortunately end. And the question I have for us is how do we respond when those relationships end? You know, what do we do? How should we respond? And what, what can we do uh, to so that we can be better people from that thing? Or should we be spiteful? See, I think that we shouldn't be spiteful. I think that we need to grow from these experiences. And I want to share two things that I, I really believe wholeheartedly about experiences I've had as relationships have ended with me in my life and then what God calls us to do. And the first thing I want to share is just that we shouldn't be spiteful because we should be better than that. You know, the old saying goes, you can choose to be bitter or you can be better. And uh, I choose to be better. Now, it's not always easy. I'm not saying that I'm perfect on this. But what I like to do when friendships end or, or um, relationships I have in the dating world or whatnot have ended, uh, I can become very bitter about it. I can be upset. My heart is broken. What they say, you know, again, is hurt people hurt people. And when you get hurt, you end up hurting other people. And the reason that we shouldn't be doing that is because we're better than that. We're better than that. Our, our world is very complicated. Our world is, is very busy. You know, again, think about the, the relationships that we do have. We have family relationships. We have friendships that of uh, people that really do care for us. We have a career that uh, we have and coworkers that we are involved with and, and hang out with and talk with and whatnot. But our world is busy and we don't need to be weighed down by the spitefulness, by the disappointment of how a relationship ended. We can legitimately move on without saying good for you in a spiteful way. We can just move on. See, here's the deal. When we carry on that, that bitterness, we, when we carry on that spitefulness, animosity, it, it just weighs on our shoulders and it just carries us down. It burdens us every day because we're thinking about it. The reality is we don't need to have that in our head anymore. We need to learn from that and grow from that. And that's why we can be better, not bitter. So I want to encourage you to, to choose to move forward, choose to move on, choose to let it go as we were told in Frozen. But the second thing is that we're called to be better than that because Christ calls us to be better. I want to encourage you with two passages of scripture real quick about uh, what we do and what we say. The first one's found from uh, Matthew 12, 
verses 36 and 37. This is Jesus t talking. He says this, I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For your words, uh, you will be justified, and for by your words, you will be condemned. Our words matter, and what we say and what we do matter. And we will be judged at one point for what we say and what we do. Choose to be better. Choose to speak kindly to people. Choose to, to have that spirit of good for you. I'm happy for you. I'm glad that that's happening when they do receive good news or their life is better in, in some way. Choose to be positive. Choose to be encouraging. But then the second one is found in 1 Peter 4, 8. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly since love covers a multitude of sins. Hey, Jesus calls us to do two things. Remember those two things? First thing is to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second thing is to love God, uh, love others as uh, you love yourself. This passage that Peter's talking about in First Peter uh, is that love carries over a multitude of sins. Love care covers a multitude of hurts. And the reality is that we can choose to be better. We don't need to let this weigh us down. Our words matter. Our actions matter. Christ calls us to more. And so I want to encourage you that you reflect Jesus in how you treat people even after a nasty breakup. You choose to reflect Jesus, maybe not to that person, but to the people around you. And the people ask you, well, Tom, how, how is it that you can honor that person or treat that person nicely after X, Y, and Z happen? Well, it's because Christ calls us to more. And by you choosing to respond in this certain way, God is calling you to more, and God may actually use that as an opportunity to help other people hear about Jesus, maybe for the very first time. So your actions matter. Your words matter. It will be held to you on the day of judgment. My encouragement is to be better and to not let your hurts hurt other people, but that we can encourage people every single day. So that is your challenge for you today, uh, to reflect the love of Christ to every people that you come by. Don't, don't be spiteful. Don't be angry. Uh, there might be a lot of hurt in there that I would encourage you to process through. And if you've got questions on, on how to process through that through, or you want someone to help you process it through, hey, definitely put it in the comment section below or hit me up at tomp at newlife.church. I would love to connect you with someone that can help you as you work through that. It's tough stuff sometimes, but God can guide you through it and God can use it for a powerful way. God used my hurts in a lot of ways to encourage other people. And I know that God will use your hurts as well to not be spiteful, to, to be better. So that's my encouragement uh, for you today. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Let me pray and then we'll be done. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for today. Thank you for who you are. And thank you for showing us that you can love and we can love other people at all times. So Lord, I just ask that we can be better and not bitter or not be spiteful but that we can radiate your love to other people, even those who have hurt us in some way. So Lord, give us the power and the ability to do that and radiate your love to many people so that they can see you and praise you in heaven. It's your name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for being with me today. And I'll talk to you soon.